Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I will show you how to fix or rebuild a Dell BIOS even if you don't have the surface tag. I always prefer to know everything about the device before rebuilding the BIOS, but this time I didn't get the surface tag, so I will try to do my best anyway. Our laptop model is Dell Latitude 3540. This laptop can come with 12 or 13 Gen CPUs. This is the motherboard number. And here is our BIOS chip, it is 32 megabytes. I am assuming that you already know how to use an SBI programmer in order to read and write this type of chips. So let's move to the important part. Here is the original corrupted BIOS. The file size is 32 megabytes, as you know. If you open the file using any hex editor, you will notice this hex value in the second line. It refers to the flash script region and you have to find it in the beginning of any Intel BIOS. The full length is 2 million in hexadecimal because the file size is 32 megabytes. And the footer of the file looks regular at the end of the BIOS region, especially for Intel BIOS with Core i CPUs. I don't have the surface tag as you know, so I will search by the model number to make sure this file belongs to our laptop. Yes, also I can search with Unicode. Now I will go to Dell website to download the new BIOS from there. Search by the model number or the surface tag if you have it. We can download the latest BIOS version from here, but I am always like to stick with the same BIOS version unless I need to upgrade it for any purpose. To find your BIOS version, you have to open your file using UEFI tool new engine and search for this keyword. I got one result. It is pointing to this section here. Let's extract it as is. Open it using your hex editor and search for the same keyword. This is our BIOS version, it is 1.19.1, so I will download the same one from Dell website. Here is the downloaded file and we have to extract it, copy the file to a new folder, copy the folder path, then paste it in Dell BFS extractor tool. It is done. I just need to get two files, BIOS region and ME region. Open the BIOS region with your hex editor. The full length is 1,800,000 in hexadecimal and our file was 2 million. I can copy the first lines of the BIOS region and search for it in our original file to locate the BIOS region offset. If I select from here to the end of the file, the length should be the same, 1,800,000 as the new BIOS region. Or I can say 2 million, minus 1,800,000, equals 800,000 in hexadecimal. I have to go to that offset in my original file, copy the whole content of the new BIOS region, and choose best right there. Then save the file as new.bin. The new file must be the same size as the original one. We have to transfer the OEM Windows key, so open both files again. If we search for this hex value in the new file, there will not be any results. But if we do the same in the old file, we will find our OEM Windows key. Here it is, and I have already changed some digits to keep it safe. Open the old file using UEFI tool, but this time the old engine. Copy the hex value of the Windows key and search for it in UEFI tool. We have one result. Extract that volume. Name it anything like Win key. Open it using your hex editor, copy the first lines and search for them in the old file. Here should be the beginning of that volume, I will go to the same offset at the new file. Copy the whole content of that volume and choose best right there. 
then save the file now if I search for the OEM Windows key it should be exist for sure good let's move to the next step I will analyze the file using ME analyzer tool the file system state is initialized means our file is not clean and we have to clean it this is the stock ME region that I got from Dell let's analyze it too as you can see it has the same ME version SKU and chipset the file system state is configured so I can use this one to clean the ME region of my new file open the suitable version of modular flash image tool here is the version that I use drag the new file into the tool press save config copy the stock ME region go to this path and replace it with ME subpartition back to modular flash image tool choose load config open the .xml saved file it has loaded successfully now press on build build successful and we got our image file this should be our final result it has the same size as the original one and if I analyze it everything will be the same except the file system state it should be configured and that means it is clean now so we are done now and this is the last file we got you can flash it into your BIOS chip I hope you learned something useful from this video and we'll see you soon inshallah Assalamu alaikum